In 2017, 748 South Carolinians died from opioid overdoses, 45 of those deaths in York County alone. The opioid crisis is killing people. It's killing people. It doesn't need to be doing that. All kinds of people. Rich people, poor people, everybody in between. On Thursday, South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster applauded those law enforcement agencies in South Carolina who have saved lives by administering naloxone, or commonly known as Narcan, to those who are suffering an overdose on opioids. And what my goal is, is, is to see that the talent, the ambition, the understanding, the dedication, and the love for our fellow man that we have in South Carolina leads us to the top of solutions in this country for this opioid crisis. 447 people were saved by police officers in South Carolina using Narcan. We knew that law enforcement would play a vital role in combating this epidemic, and they have. Our chiefs and sheriffs have stepped up, just as they always do. Chief Mark Keel with the State Law Enforcement Division shared an example of a Narcan save by Rock Hill Police on March of 2017, just one of many in the state by law enforcement officers. Hey. Since 2016, there have been 447 administrations of naloxone by law enforcement officers. That's 447 potential lives saved in South Carolina. In recognition of officers' efforts of saving lives, Governor McMaster and Chief Keel presented awards to law enforcement agencies for their Narcan saves. Rock Hill Police Department has administered Narcan 19 times a day. York County Sheriff's Office has administered Narcan 30 times today. Governor McMaster's final words about saving lives in South Carolina from opioid overdoses will take education and team efforts by all. If we can do whatever it takes to see to that our state, our people, are as safe as they can possibly be made from the scourge of opioids. At the 2018 Governor's Opioid Summit in Columbia, Trent Ferris, YCSO News.